If you shop at Trader Joe's, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video and make this recipe. Today we're making a butternut squash and poblano cheese bake that is very easy to make and oh so delicious. Most of the ingredients that are in this recipe come from Trader Joe's because they have some unique products. So if you go there, you're gonna to wanna to make this. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. Did you hear the joke about the peanut butter? I'm not telling you, because you might spread it. So to start off our recipe, we are gonna be roasting our butternut squash that we got from Trader Joe's already cut up. So I'll pour that package of a butternut squash right onto my parchment paper covered baking sheet. We're also gonna roast a half of an onion here that I'm gonna cut up into pretty large chunks. And then we're gonna pour those right onto the same sheet with the butternut squash. And then we're gonna drizzle some olive oil to coat them. Now make sure your hands are clean and go ahead and massage that oil into the onions and the butternut squash. Then you wanna give a little sprinkle of salt so that you can season each layer. And then we're gonna place this into a 425 degree preheated oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. This recipe calls for some peppers, so we're using poblano peppers in this, and you cannot get them at Trader Joe's, but you can get them at most grocery stores. We're gonna place these peppers right on top of a flame here. So I got my uh, stove here on, on medium high, and I'm just laying these right over the top, and I'm gonna just keep tossing them over with some tongs until they are completely blackened. Then we'll place these in a bowl, and then we'll cover it with saran wrap, and let them steam for like 10 minutes. Now we're gonna move on to our sauce that we're gonna be making for our casserole. So for this, we're gonna need some cottage cheese, some full fat yogurt, Trader Joe's green goddess dressing, salt, garlic powder, and some chipotle chili powder. Blend this up until it's nice and creamy and set it aside. It must be time for chef joke number two. And here's another peanut butter one for you. Why did the fishermen put peanut butter into the sea? To go with the jellyfish. <laughs> Back to our recipe. I'm gonna need to grate up a little bit of cheese and I chose Monterey Jack for this because it melts so nice. But you can use any cheese you want really. Let's go back to our butternut squash in the oven. Now this cooked for about 35 minutes. It's gonna vary between 25 and 35, but you want to get this brown caramelization that you see here. This adds a tremendous amount of flavor to this recipe. Now it's time to peel the black skin off of these peppers. So we take a couple paper towels, one in each hand, and just rub off the black parts. You don't have to worry about getting everything off because that's not you know, important. Some of that charring makes for a very nice flavor and do not rinse these under the water just because it'll take all the flavor away. Once most of the black is removed, go ahead and cut that stem at the end off, and then you're gonna wanna scrape out the seeds with your knife. Then chop the pepper into little squares so that they are bite size. Say, hey, if you're enjoying this video, let me know by smashing the like button, okay? Now we're ready to put this casserole together. So I have an eight by eight dish here and I am putting in my first layer, which is the butternut squash with the onions. I'm gonna have two layers here. So I'm gonna put the first half in the bottom, just like this, and then we wanna spread it out so it covers the whole bottom of the dish. So next goes our pepper layer. So go ahead and sprinkle that all around. I like to try and get a little bit in every bite. Our next layer is some roasted corn, so go ahead and sprinkle some of that on top. You remember that creamy sauce we made? Well, now we're gonna drizzle that over the top. Cheese is last before we repeat all these layers again. Now I wanna remind you, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Just click the button there and scroll down. Now the very last thing here we're adding is some roasted pumpkin seeds. These add a wonderful crunch to this casserole and you can get them at Trader Joe's. We're gonna place this in our oven at 375 degrees for about 20 minutes or until that cheese and everything is nice and hot and melted. Here it is out of the oven. I'm telling you this looks and tastes amazing. The flavors on this are super savory. You've got the sweetness from the caramelized butternut squash. Oh paired up with the onions and the pepper. 
the dressing adds a little creaminess with a little heat and of course we get that little tang from the dressing that green goddess dressing and then of course there's the cheese i mean everything tastes great with cheese and then i really love the the pumpkin seeds that are roasted on top it gives it a nice little crunch this is an incredible side dish for any meal that you want to serve so here is the perfect entree for our butternut squash side dish. This is my oven fried chicken. It is delicious and easy to make. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the old like button and we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing, pushing, just do it, okay? <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs>